Lemons, despite their many health benefits, may not be safe for some people. These bright yellow fruits, rich in vitamins and antioxidants, can cause health problems for those who suffer from certain health conditions. Let's take a look at why and for which health conditions you should avoid eating lemons. This video will be extremely informative and helpful. So, if you want to become a master of your health, click like and let's get started. Number 1. Drug Interactions Lemons can interact with some medications, altering their effectiveness. For example, lemons can increase the absorption of aluminum from antacids or alter acidity levels, affecting the effectiveness of medications. Studies show that about 20% of the population regularly takes medications that may interact with foods, including lemons. One example of an interaction is the combination of lemon juice with anticoagulants, such as warfarin. Lemon juice can alter the metabolism of these drugs in the liver, leading to changes in their blood concentrations and therefore their effectiveness. According to a study published in the Journal of Clinical Pharmacology, approximately 5 to 10% of patients taking warfarin may experience significant fluctuations in blood levels of the drug when drinking lemon juice. Another important example is the interaction of lemon juice with antidepressants of the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, SSRI, group. Lemon juice can inhibit the enzymes responsible for the metabolism of these drugs, leading to an increase in their blood concentrations and an increased risk of side effects. A study published in the British Journal of Clinical Pharmacology shows that approximately 7 to 10 percent of patients taking SSRIs may experience adverse effects when combined with lemon juice. It is important to note that not only fresh lemons, but also products containing lemon juice, can have similar effects on drug metabolism. People who take medications on a regular basis are advised to consult their doctor before including lemons or lemon-based products in their diet. Number 2. Gastroesophageal Reflux Disease, GERD GERD is a chronic condition in which acid from the stomach backs up into the esophagus, causing heartburn and discomfort. The high acidity of lemons can exacerbate these symptoms. According to a study conducted by the American College of Gastroenterology, about 30% of people with GERD report worsening of the condition after eating acidic foods. The acidity of lemons can cause burning and discomfort, increasing reflux. The acidity of lemons stimulates additional stomach acid production, leading to increased reflux and increased esophageal irritation. Patients with GERD are advised to avoid lemons to reduce the occurrence of heartburn and discomfort. Number 3. Irritable Bowel Syndrome, IBS. IBS is a chronic bowel disorder accompanied by pain, bloating, and diarrhea. Lemons can cause discomfort and worsen symptoms in people with IBS. About 15% of the population suffers from this condition, according to data published in the American Journal of Gastroenterology. The acidity of lemons can irritate the intestines and exacerbate symptoms. The acidity of lemons can stimulate the gastrointestinal tract, causing cramping and diarrhea in people with IBS. Patients with this condition are advised to avoid lemons so as not to provoke an exacerbation and worsen symptoms. Number 4. Increased Tooth Sensitivity Increased tooth sensitivity is a problem familiar to many. The acid in lemons can erode tooth enamel, making teeth more sensitive to hot and cold foods. A study published in the Journal of Dentistry shows that about 12% of people experience discomfort due to enamel damage from eating acidic foods. Regular consumption of lemons can lead to thinning enamel and increased tooth sensitivity. The erosion of tooth enamel by citric acid leads to denudation of dentinal tubules, which causes pain when exposed to hot, cold, sweet, or sour foods. To prevent damage to tooth enamel, it is recommended to limit consumption of lemons and other acidic foods and to use toothpaste for sensitive teeth. Number 5. Diabetes Lemons are good for people with diabetes because of their low glycemic index. 
However, excessive consumption can affect blood sugar levels and interact with some medications. Approximately 10% of the population suffers from diabetes, according to the World Health Organization. It is important to consult your doctor before including lemons in your diet. Lemons can affect the absorption of some medications, which can alter their effectiveness. Diabetics should use caution when consuming lemons and consult a doctor to adjust medication dosage. Number 6. Osteoporosis Osteoporosis is a condition in which bones become brittle and prone to fractures. The acid in lemons can cause calcium to leach out of the bones, which worsens bone density. About 10% of people over the age of 50 suffer from osteoporosis, according to the National Osteoporosis Foundation. Consumption of lemons may increase the risk of fractures. Studies show that regular consumption of acidic foods can contribute to the removal of calcium from the body, which is especially dangerous for people with osteoporosis. It is advisable to limit the consumption of lemons to reduce the risk of bone loss and promote bone health. Number 7. Kidney Problems Lemons contain oxalates which can contribute to the formation of kidney stones in people who are predisposed to this condition. Research published in the Clinical Journal of the American Society of Nephrology shows that about 10% of people experience kidney stones in their lifetime, and high levels of oxalates can exacerbate the situation. Oxalates form crystals that settle in the kidneys, causing pain and discomfort. People with a history of or predisposition to kidney stones are advised to limit their intake of foods high in oxalates, including lemons. Consumption of lemons may increase the risk of new stone formation and exacerbation of the condition. Number 8. Hyperacidity – Increased Acidity Hyperacidity is a condition in which the stomach produces too much acid. Lemons can aggravate symptoms of hyperacidity, such as burning and discomfort. Approximately 10% of the population suffers from hyperacidity of the stomach, according to data published in the World Journal of Gastroenterology. Consumption of lemons stimulates the production of gastric juice, which aggravates the condition. The acidity of lemons can increase gastric juice secretion, leading to worsening symptoms of hyperacidity. Patients with this condition are advised to avoid lemons and other acidic foods to reduce acid production in the stomach and relieve symptoms. Number 9. Gastritis and Peptic Ulcers Gastritis and peptic ulcers are conditions in which the mucous membrane of the stomach becomes inflamed or damaged. Lemons contain high amounts of acid, which can increase irritation of the mucous membrane. A study published in the journal Gastroenterology shows that about 20% of people with gastritis experience an increase in symptoms after eating acidic foods, including lemons. The acidity of lemons increases burning, pain, and discomfort and slows the healing process of ulcers and mucosal damage. Additionally, citric acid can stimulate gastric juice secretion, which negatively affects the condition of the gastric mucosa, especially in patients with peptic ulcers. Number 10. Pregnancy During pregnancy, a woman's body undergoes many changes. Lemons, although healthy, can cause stomach problems and heartburn due to their high acidity. According to research published in the American Journal of Obstetrics and Gynecology, about 25% of pregnant women suffer from heartburn, and acidic foods can exacerbate these symptoms by causing discomfort and burning. Heartburn in pregnant women is often associated with increased pressure on the stomach due to fetal growth and changes in hormones, which causes the lower esophageal sphincter to relax. The acidity of lemons can exacerbate these symptoms, so pregnant women are advised to limit their consumption to prevent discomfort. Number 11. Migraine. Migraine is a severe headache that can be triggered by a variety of factors, including diet. In some people, lemons can trigger migraine attacks. Approximately 12% of the population suffers from migraines, according to the Migraine Research Foundation. The acidity of lemons can cause headaches and discomfort. Some studies show that acidic foods can affect serotonin levels in the brain, leading to migraines. 
Patients suffering from migraines are advised to avoid eating lemons to reduce the frequency and intensity of attacks. Number 12. Allergy to citrus fruits. Citrus allergy is a reaction of the immune system to certain proteins found in citrus fruits. Lemons can cause allergic reactions such as rashes, itching, swelling, and difficulty breathing. According to research published in the Journal of Allergy and Clinical Immunology, approximately 2% of the population suffers from allergies to citrus fruits. Symptoms can include abdominal pain and digestive problems. Citrus allergy can occur immediately after contact with the allergen or several hours later. Symptoms can range from mild to severe, including anaphylactic shock, which requires immediate medical attention. People with a confirmed allergy to citrus fruits are advised to avoid lemons and products containing lemon juice completely. Number 13. Liver Problems the liver performs many functions in the body, and if it is diseased, it is important to be careful of foods that can irritate it. The acid in lemons can negatively affect liver function, especially in diseases such as cirrhosis. Research published in the Journal of Hepatology shows that about 2% of the population suffers from chronic liver disease. In cirrhosis, the liver is already damaged and cannot perform its functions effectively. The acidity of lemons can increase the burden on the liver and aggravate its condition. Patients with liver disease are advised to avoid acidic foods, including lemons, to avoid worsening their condition. Number 14. Psoriasis and Eczema Citrus fruits, including lemons, can aggravate the symptoms of psoriasis and eczema in some people. In these cases, it is best to limit their consumption to avoid exacerbation of skin conditions. Approximately 3% of the population suffers from psoriasis and 10% suffer from eczema, according to the National Psoriasis Foundation. The acid in lemons can irritate the skin and increase inflammation, leading to an exacerbation of symptoms. Psoriasis and eczema patients are advised to avoid lemons to reduce the risk of exacerbations and maintain healthy skin. Number 15. Pancreas Problems The pancreas plays a key role in digestion, and diseases such as pancreatitis can seriously affect health. Lemons, because of their acidity, can irritate the pancreas and worsen inflammation. According to a study published in Pancreatology, approximately 3% of people experience pancreatitis in their lifetime. Pancreatitis is characterized by inflammation of the pancreas, and the acid of lemons can aggravate this condition by causing pain and discomfort. Patients with pancreatic disease are advised to avoid acidic foods to avoid irritating the organ and increasing inflammation. Number 16. Interstitial cystitis. Interstitial cystitis is a chronic bladder condition accompanied by pain and discomfort. Lemons can aggravate symptoms because of their acidity. About 3% of the population suffers from this condition, according to the Interstitial Cystitis Association. The acid irritates the mucous membrane of the bladder, causing pain. Patients with interstitial cystitis are advised to avoid acidic foods, including lemons, to avoid aggravating the condition and reduce pain. Number 17. Hypothyroidism Hypothyroidism is a condition in which the thyroid gland does not produce enough hormones. Some studies show that excessive consumption of lemons can affect thyroid function and worsen the symptoms of hypothyroidism. Approximately 5% of the population suffers from this condition, according to the American Thyroid Association. The acidity of lemons can affect iodine absorption, which negatively affects thyroid function. Patients with hypothyroidism are advised to limit consumption of lemons and other acidic foods to maintain normal thyroid function. Number 18. Hyperkalemia Hyperkalemia is a condition in which the level of potassium in the blood is too high. Although lemons are not a significant source of potassium, people with hyperkalemia should be careful about eating them. About 1% of the population suffers from this condition, according to the American Heart Association. 
It is important to monitor potassium intake to avoid complications. Patients with hyperkalemia are advised to limit consumption of foods that can increase blood potassium levels and avoid lemons to prevent possible complications. Number 19. Skin problems when lemon is applied to the skin. Some people use lemon juice for skin care, but this can lead to photosensitization and irritation. The acidity of lemons can cause burns and redness, especially in people with sensitive skin. Approximately 5% of the population suffers from skin reactions to citrus fruits, according to the American Academy of Dermatology. Lemon juice can increase the skin's sensitivity to ultraviolet radiation, leading to sunburn and pigmentation. It is recommended to use lemon juice with caution and always wash it off before going out in the sun. Number 20. Anemia. Lemons contain oxalates, which can interfere with iron absorption, making anemia worse. People with iron deficiency should limit their intake of lemons to improve iron absorption from food. Approximately 10% of the population suffers from anemia, according to the World Health Organization. Oxalates bind to iron, forming insoluble compounds that prevent its absorption in the intestine. Patients with anemia are advised to avoid lemons and other foods high in oxalates to improve iron absorption and hemoglobin levels. Conclusion Lemons have many beneficial properties, but it is important to consider individual body characteristics and existing medical conditions. When consumed properly, lemons can provide many benefits, but in some cases it is better to refrain from using them. Always consult your doctor if you have any doubts about including lemons in your diet. What do you think about this issue? Do you agree with these statements? If you have any questions, ask them in the comments. More information on this topic can be found at the links in the description below this video and on our channel. Subscribe and hit the bell for all notifications. Please like and share this video with your friends. Thanks to our sponsors for their support. I eagerly await your comments and encourage you to watch these useful videos.